Hi everybody, I'm Mikey, and welcome back to the only patch of property I own on this planet. One little acre of earth on the backside of Deputy, Indiana. On this episode, I'm going to be filling in all the gaps of my Hot Wheels Legends Tour story that were missed on the Big Deal movie and the Pickle Jar docuseries. This was a lifelong dream of mine that I actually got to live out. Hope you guys enjoy. Well, it's fun to see what junk can be worth at Mikey's Acre of Earth. It may seem like Big Deal and the Pickle Jar were my first attempt at the Hot Wheels Legends Tour, but that actually isn't the truth. My first crack at the Hot Wheels Legends Tour was actually inspired by the 2Jet Z, the very first year that the Hot Wheels Legends Tour had a competition. I seen that 2Jet Z win and I knew that this was my kind of competition. Three categories that they judged by, creativity, authenticity, and garage spirit. I went and got back to my drawing board and came up with this, the banana hammock. But when I came up with the banana hammock, somebody else had already got a little farther along. And when I had all of that thing mocked up, coming together, ready to blow apart the paint, the Hot Wheels Legends winner was called that year and really popped my balloon. We went on to finish it make a movie, the Banana Hammock movie, here on the Paper to Pavement YouTube channel, and kind of built a amazing little Nash. I absolutely loved it. But COVID hit, and all of the dreams of building a Hot Wheels Legends tour car had to go away to survive, and I had to sell it. Here's the story of us delivering it. Okay, let's go inside, gang. Okay, I need my No, 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 not by that car, not by that car. <laughs> Mom! I know a lot about you. Yeah, this is Nice to meet you. Ignition, fuel, fan, and start. just took the banana hammock to its new home in North Carolina is went to an awesome guy he's a buddy of Todd's used to race with Todd like road course race with him so it's a good home very nice guy and he loved it just like it was so the car is going to stay like it is he's going to race it and enjoy it as the banana hammock so I hope it nothing but the best in the future and can't wait to see it again out there doing what I built it for so you want to talk about a really good idea with really bad timing. That was pretty much what the banana hammock ended up being in this Hot Wheels legend story. But I didn't let that dream die. I just watered that wild flower and came up with a crazier plan, which was this Izetta idea. And you know, this was something that I took on all by myself. You know, I built these all by myself, but it took a lot of people's advice, support, love, and if it wasn't for the people of Deputy and Kevin down at the Champion Station, 
putting on a fundraiser. I wouldn't even have the gas to get to Arizona in the first place to even see our leg of the Legends Tour. I owe them people everything. I got nothing but love for them. And so much so that me and Trent decided to stay up the night before we had to go down there and debut the big deal for the first time in deputy. We stayed up all night, all the next day to put our heart and soul in it, show them people how much we love them. It's still way cold though. Goodness. Oh, Trent, look at this, dude. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Oh, this is good. It's gonna be a good day, man. It's gonna be a big day. Today is, well, I should say today's a big deal because it is the debut of Big Deal. <sighs> Eight hours to go. From today I work 17 hours, okay? Today I work 17 hours from midnight to five, all right? But that midnight was also attached to 1 p.m. to midnight. So I have been working since 1 p.m. yesterday to 5 p.m. today. I can't thank them enough for putting on that fundraiser. Kevin and his wife and all of them down there, they raised a wad of money and brought up here and it was enough to pay for the gas to get us to Arizona. So my community was behind me in competition, which is unheard of around the globe. But here on my acre, I'm lucky enough to have made that happen. I love them for it. Trent came over the night before we left for Arizona to load the cars up and I'd rested a couple days and he kind of wanted to see mentally where I was before we had to head out to Arizona. I don't know, us sitting here reflecting's really got me, uh, got me thinking about pulling in front of that backer board, which I mean, till recently I thought was gonna be a fail. You know, I thought I might not even get these done and have anything to show Hot Wheels, but knowing this is what I'm bringing, and I know I don't have like the nicest of tools, the nicest of sheet metal. I mean, I'm using all scrap, but I don't feel like I'm really getting to show my true potential, but I hope you see, you know, kind of what I can do with nothing, and hopefully it opens up a door with somebody to give us something to work with, you know? And I hope it's Hot Wheels, man, more than anybody. I, I feel like I, I'm, just living, breathing kid until the day I die. And I wanna work for a toy company. I'm really nervous though. You know, like I, uh, I don't know. I feel like this is a big job interview. You know, even if I, I don't really care about the show, whether I win, lose, or draw, I hope that Mattel can see some good in me, you know, and at least give me pointers on what else I've gotta to add to my resume to be good enough for them. I hope. I think I'll be good enough for them, man. I mean, if not, I'm good enough for them. I'm good enough for you. That's good enough for me. Roller 
Holler Kosher Racing Hot Wheels Holler Combo Pack. One to one scale right there. Pit bike and all. Did it, man. I actually did it. <laughs> they're gonna let you go out in public with all these cars. Dude. Hey. They may let us go out, but they not let, may not, they may not let us come back, brother. <laughs> They'd be like some people's kids. Some people's kids. Look at this. <laughs> we're gonna cause we're gonna cause a few crashes. Yes. Threw all my bags in the back seat of my girlfriend's pickup truck. She's my old friend. Let you know when we get there. I'm thinking here we go again. Most nights we just hit the road, sleep out in the back. All right, thanks for watching, Will. I appreciate it. In the cold of the desert wind. When the money runs low, we pick a spot and make them reach up to the sky. Thinking here we go. Dude, how cool is that? Too cool. I just did push-ups in the desert too. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Be ready. I made everything, all of this, dude. We're in the Hot Wheels, boy. We're on the surf. We'll cover our tracks and keep on moving till we find another home. Feels like home's just a place to die. When you've had the lies that we've had And I don't expect you to understand You do what you do to survive Say here I go again We landed in Arizona at the Hot Wheels show at about 10 o'clock the night before. And I had a Indiana to Arizona amount of dust to wipe off those things, so I definitely needed a night's worth of work. Trent and the kids crashed out in the rental car and Ruthie crashed out on the trailer while I dialed them all in all through the night. Plus, you know, I wanted to be the first one in line and I even made friends with the security guard to make sure that happened. But when everybody woke up the next morning, uh, it was to sounds of Hot Wheels cars getting unloaded. Like seeing, seeing those cars right there. It's been a lot of work. My hands are hurting really bad, man. But, geez, man. It's one to one scale. That's a backer board. I don't care if it's 164th. One to one scale. It's a hose car now. They've been in front of the backer board. So relieved. So relieved. I've been working so hard. I started the pickle jar February 28th of 2023, this year, dude. And I haven't took a day off. I haven't took a second off. Every second I've been awake, I've been working towards getting right here, right here today. And I'm just, I don't know, my cup is completely full and 
the overfilling, that's where the tears are coming from. I'm just completely full. I'm fulfilled. I have a YouTube channel called Paper to Pavement, and a lot like many people out here, we're, we're uh, paddling the same boat as y'all, and we're struggling. And I needed to show who I was as an artist, and Hot Wheels just gave me a stage to do that and show authenticity, creativity, and garage spirit, which I'm just one guy in a town of 38. Hey! Hey, guys! 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 H
fact, the fact that I'm standing here with y'all in front of my wife and kids is something special to me, you guys. Oh, Yo, congratulations, dog. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me tell you yeah, about the please. car, sorry. All right, enough crying, enough crying. You're a hot rod, you're a hot rodder, man. So, yeah. so the pickle jar is the truck there, and that pickle jar was built, I started on it uh, March 28th of this year, and I built it in 40 days and 40 nights, a thousand miles from home, away from my kids, <laughs> out of scraps of everything I couldn't afford to keep in the past that I've got left over. And I built it on my scrap pile, and that is my daily driver right there. That's what you see me in every day, right there, okay? And then that is me as a craftsman. I wanted to show my artistry with that truck. And What's then, the globe? Is that where your cat or dog sits? Well, I wanted a sight glass, so when you guys see it in the package here next year, hey. you can take a good shot at that Chevy six-cylinder <laughs> riding underneath. All right, now the V-twin. The V-twin, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, V-twin. Uh, well, and then, so that's the pickle jar, and then Big Dill here, D-I-L-L, -L, like a dill pickle. <laughs> Big Dill here, is, uh, it's rolling with a 1200 uh, cone shovel, and it's a nostalgic drag car, flip body, and guys, I want you to understand, I did everything here. I drew them, I welded them, I painted them, I upholstered them. I did every ounce of what you see there, and I'm proud to be standing up here in front of y'all. <laughs> guys, if you could, if you could tell everybody you know about Paper to Pavement on YouTube, I would appreciate it, because we would like to keep doing this. Congratulations. I love you guys. I mean, what, you, you guys hit the nail on the head. I mean, the tears, and everybody has Thank that you, too. Coming around, brother. All that contribute, but I think anybody that has, you know, you got a bearish shirt on. I mean, you got free flake right there. I mean, so those the are my pain, boys. The, bl the blood, sweat, tears, gears, and beers that go into this thing, brother. And that, and I think that's what's beautiful about it. You got your kids here, your father, sorry, your your daughter, your son, your wife. That's cool, man. And I think that's what really translates, and that story can be told, just like that giant card right back there and we know you called it you said you're gonna see that thing next year in the blister no tbd no you know tbd bro i but, know i but know your story needs to be told we'll so thank you for sharing thank you guys thank you guys so much for the platform and uh giving me a place to shine it's a dark world out there and all we want to do is light it up Woo! Yeah. Right? Right? Have you, has that been done? I'm seeing the, the dill pickle. What's the other one? The dill and the big dill? Uh, it's it's a pickle jar and big dill, and I designed them both asymmetrically for the packaging, you know? Yeah. So from the very start, these were Hot Wheels cars. They're just one-to-one -one scale yeah. for me and my kids to enjoy. So he knows, has that been done? He knows that Hot Wheels cars face to the right. Ooh, man. I do know that. Yeah, yeah. Let's get so, weird at that thing. Yeah. Congratulations. What is it? Pencil to pavement? It's paper to pavement. Paper to pavement. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Congratulations, brother. brother. Thank, Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. He doesn't need an impact wrench. He just uses those things right there. I was the first one to bring him over there. This is the guy right here. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Yes. Right on, man. You're the Hollywood. man. Awesome. Did it, huh? I pulled all that off. That was, a, that was a definite highlight of my life. Getting to pull that off in front of Ruth and the kids was something special, you know, but I still have a lot left to do to the set. This thing isn't even running yet. Be sure to follow along on the Acre of Earth series. I'll be doing upgrades to the whole set and myself from now until the end of my career, whenever I decide that is. So. 
I uh, ended up getting these things back home. I dialed in the set even more just in case they, I would need to show them again. And I didn't even get to show them as finished as I got them. But that was still enough to make the top 10. I went on to the semifinals. It was virtual. Uh, for that, go to the Hot Wheels Facebook page and check out that stream there. But after that, we came outside and Trent uh, just wanted to see how I felt after the end of such a crazy ride. Okay, so where do we start? But I wanted the most freshest in your brain. We just were told that we're, you are the top 10 of something. Explain to the people it what's is, going through your head. It what? is semifinals night. We just went inside and I am top 10 legend participants this year. So we've made it. I have a one in 10 chance of actually being on the pegs at Walmart all over the world in something that I started right here and with a pencil and paper. I'm 33 years old. I don't, I know for a fact in my heart and soul, I don't have what it takes to be a legend, you know, but I do want to be a wildflower that goes from the soil of true legends, you know, and this soil here in Deputy is saturated by true legends that are buried six feet under it, you know, and I am just proud to be the one that's carrying the torch for them. You know, all those people, they didn't run me off when I had questions, you know, they didn't treat me bad. And I can't say that about the rest of the world, um, but here in Deputy, the people that came out here to build a life for themselves helped me build one too before they left. And the fact that me and all of them are top 10 at something, I feel like I'm finally, I finally have a purpose. I felt so empty for so long, fulfilling other dreams. And now it's my turn. Good. That's good, I'm done. That's awesome though, man. Hey, on to the finals, baby. Like we hoped. I did you crying? it. crying? Oh my gosh, I'm just, I can't believe I did you it. You did honey. it, I, I don't like you were going to. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, I tell you though, there's some good ones on there. There that, is. There's, there's some good ones. You know, um, top 10 with 11 cars. Sorry guys, I'm kind of difficult that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And one week later, I came up short in the finals. I did get Jay Leno's pick though, which was super cool. Out of all of the judging panel, he was the most hardcore car guy for sure. But I came up short to Tofu Auto Works and a little Mazda Miata. He built it all himself. And uh, the worst part of this whole adventure was I truly got beat at my best attempt. He beat me at my best attempt and I didn't get to shake his hand and congratulate him at the end. So if you all could go over there Give him a follow on Instagram and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, he, he deserves all the respect in the world. I, I, I know how hard it is to pull that off and uh, I'm still out here trying to. So much so that I'll even share my Legends Tour concept for 2024 with y'all so far. Uh, you guys are gonna have to follow along here on Mikey's Acre of Earth. That's where I'm gonna be posting it all. And so far we look like this, so. Thrash Mode Mikey is coming up right here on Mikey's Acre of Earth. See you on the next one. Well, it's fun to see what junk can be worth at Mikey's Acre of Earth. I'm Jay's pick. I'm Jay's pick. Like you said, Mikey, you won the eyes of Jay and Hector. You brought the, Hector, you brought the You brought the guy that always plays the gangster and Jay uh. together. But the car from Rust. You think those are cool? Yeah.